Hi, Tiffle Dude here, and today I'm going to show you how to automate with just the touch of a button many of the repetitive, time consuming, monotonous tasks using the Elgato Production Deck app. Now it's called the Stream Deck app, but I don't do any streaming, but I do do a lot of producing. I produce YouTube videos and documents, I edit PDFs and pictures using Photoshop, etc., etc. So if you're like me, you probably have a multitude of hotkeys to press and folders to find that you could really use a one-touch macro type button that can do all of this for you. Without further ado, let's have a look at what exactly we're talking about. So what is this app that I'm using? Well, it's the Elgato Stream Deck app. You simply have to download this Stream Deck app from your mobile device. And as you can see, you'll get a month's free trial. Now, if you do decide to pay for it, you only have to pay £2.80 a month. And if after a few months you don't like it, fine, get rid of it. But believe me, I think you will use this more and more each day. What I did initially when I saw this, I actually went out and bought the 32 key pad which was about 180 quid because there's so much you can use it for as you can see here look i've already filled up the first page but in each icon there can be another 15 keys as we said before now you could buy the next step down 140 pounds but notice if you pay two pound eight a month it would take you four years before you reach that 140 pound level and by then they may have reinvented the wheel. So another thing is I also have, because I have the same account on my iPad, I have 15 separate keys on my iPad and 15 separate keys on my iPhone. So I've got 32 new keys. Admitting that they're not together, but I do have 32 keys. So if you have two devices, it's much cheaper and maybe better for you to use the app. Another thing about using the app is you can take the app to work with you. You can take, if you take your laptop to work, you can take this with you, which is a lot less cumbersome than perhaps this stream deck, which is quite big and bulky. So all you have to do, and I'm going to show you later, we're going to download the app and we're going to download the um, stream deck software which is what this is here and that's where you develop and create all these wonderful macros but first let me show you some examples of how i use this on my iphone device simply by pressing one of these buttons i can activate for instance my youtube area this is my youtube zone and I can go and click on and edit my, enter my YouTube channel. Now, if I was to play one of these uh, files, it's one big colored picture, and then you have your blue. But I don't think that. Here, with a simple button, I can pause it. I can make it louder. I can mute it, if you watch. You're quite happy with the mix. And now I press the mute, and now you can't hear it. Unmute, and you can hear it. Once again, pause it. So these are very simple buttons that I'm using now. But don't forget, there's other areas. I can go into this website. Let's say I'm working on my YouTube video, and I decided to uh, procrastinate. So I'm going to watch a little bit of this uh, Two and a Half Men. Uh oh the missus is home or the boss is coming in now i need to delete the history of me watching this as well as the page itself so watch this i simply click this button which has a multitude of tasks embedded in it just keystrokes and look at that it opens a page it takes about six seconds clear data du -du -du -du. boom oh what i'm sorry honey yeah i'm just working on my youtube video no one needs to know you go to your history it's not there it's been deleted so i'm going to show you how to make these hotkeys 
this is a multitude of keys. So instead of doing all those uh, things that you normally do, other things I have here, you can see I have, uh, this is my, where I edit documents. So each of these files can also hold another 15 keys. And even to the right, I can have another 15 keys. Basically, you can go on forever in this app. It's brilliant. So if I want to go back to home and let's say, um, open up a document, here's another example where I can open up two documents side by side. So if I click up this, I've got the Windows uh, Word document on my left and the Excel on my right. What you don't appreciate that they will always be that size because I did a function in here where I made sure that they were that size. So if I close this out, if I move this over here, I'm going to close them out. Watch what happens again when I press this button. It opens the document. Uh oh, I'm in the wrong place. I should be over there. Open the Excel file again in the wrong place. Get over there. So I can show you how to do that magic trick. Now you may notice on here as well, I have some hot keys. For instance, if you want to copy something and paste it, let's say an image, often you need to remember the, the key, which is Windows Shift S, which is, I could just press this button, watch, press this button, and then copy that like that, click in the document, then I've got Control V to paste, and there is the image, which I've just taken very quickly without having to fumble around for the keys on the keyboard and then control V. It's fine if you know that. It's fine if you know that. But sometimes some people find these hard to remember. And there's so many keys to remember. Now I have two monitors. And in this scenario, I'm going to show you my two monitors. So here they are. I've got the monitor above me, which is my um, tap, my laptop on the right. That takes my teacher's book. That's where I can look at the answers. Here on the left, that's my main monitor that I'm looking at now. And I want the student's book there. And I also want two folders open to do with the audio and where I got the book from. So what I can do is I can simply, make sure I click on here. I'm gonna simply click this button here and the teacher's book is gonna open in Adobe Pro. And the student book is going to open up in PDF exchange, as you can see here. And then the folders are going to open up, although they've opened up on this side, I can tell them to open up on this side, but it doesn't really matter. I haven't directed them, but the two documents I did direct to open purposefully where they are. If I wanted to, I could also add it to the folders that they open up on a certain monitor. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. That's wonderful. Now, one more thing I want to show you is that you can have, these are called um, profiles. So when we went into this, that's a profile. And obviously we can add another profile if we want. But here I've added some audio. And here you can just drag in the audio and you can use it like a, as if you're a DJ. That's what my intention is. So I can play this and then it will fade out when I press it again. Now this is my intro. And then it fades out and you can hear that. And you can do that with any sound. I've got these particular sounds because I use breakout rooms. So I thought I'd use that song, boom, boom, shake, shake the room. But I'm also going to show you how to use the uh, to make an icon now there are free icons with the device but if you want to make your own i'm going to show you how to open up make sure it's in the right size as you can see it's happening here i devised this uh, and then you can simply copy and paste any image into it and i'm going to show you how to take a picture from a, a document any document you find on the web because you know you're not purposefully using it 
to promote or make money. You're just putting it here to make the icons look flashier as I've done here. And I'll show you how to do that so you can have your own documents and show you how to change the colors and that kind of thing. So that'll be the last thing we do, the icons. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. So that's the introduction finished. Now, if you're really interested in downloading this app and installing these kind of macros I've devised, then click on the following videos in the playlist. The first one is going to be where I show you how to install Elgato on your iPhone or Android phone and how to add the home button and the remote control buttons. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I add the internet icons and websites and how I delete the whole history with a click of a button. Then I'm going to show you how I open up Word and Excel side by side at a particular height and point on the monitor. And I'll include also how to add music. In the video following that, I'm going to show you how to open a Windows app. These four items here are particularly apps that are not EXE files, so they open in a different way. And I'll show you how to do that. Then I'm going to show you how I use dual monitors, opening up a PDF in one monitor and a PDF in another and opening folders, all with the press of just one button. And finally, I'm going to show you how to create your own icons using the free paint.net software, which I think may be only with Windows. So I hope you join me on these videos and enjoy Elgato Stream Deck.